everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Style Society. My name is Susan and today I'm going to share with you my massive Winners and Marshalls beauty haul. These are all products that I've purchased in the past month. If you've been to Winners lately, you may have noticed that they're starting to carry brands that you normally find at Sephora. And what's awesome about this is that you only have to pay a fraction of the retail price. If I were to have paid full retail price for everything that I'm showing you today, it would have costed me over $2,000. If you like an idea of what type of products you might find at your Winners stores, then please keep watching! I'm going to first start off by showing you what I found from Winners from the brand Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got several of the single eye shadows and these were all $4.99 each. If you went into Sephora, you will find these for $16 each. The colors I personally picked up were brownie, dark chocolate shimmer, denim smoky, midnight, fawn, and smoke. I also picked up two of the waterproof cream color eyeshadows in the shades Sable and Honey. These were each $7.99 each. I also picked up some of the liquid lipsticks and liquid lip glosses. These were all $9.99 each and the two lip glosses I got were in the shades Social Light and Runway Red. And the three liquid lipsticks that I purchased were Naked, Soft Lilac, and Catnip. The last thing I picked up from Anastasia Beverly Hills was the Contour Cream Kit. This one is in the shade Fair and it cost $24.99. I also saw the Aurora Glow Kit at Winners for $29.99, but I decided not to purchase it since I don't think that I'd be using all the colors in the Glow Kit. I know that TJ Maxx and Marshalls in the USA have been carrying the Anastasia Blush Kits, so I'm crossing my fingers that we will start seeing these also in Canada. Next, I'm going to show you the things I purchased from the brand Smashbox at Winners. I got the B Legendary Power Pout Lipstick Set. This one was $24.99 and it comes with one full-size lipstick in the shade Audition and then four mini lipsticks in the shades Famous, Stylist Matte, Bing Matte, and Screen Queen Matte. Next thing I found from the brand Smashbox was this Photo Finish Foundation Primer with SPF 15. This one was $19.99. The last thing I picked up from the brand Smashbox at Winners was the Travel Brush Kit. And this comes with one double-ended smudger brush, a fan brush, and a shadow brush. I'm going to show you the things that I picked up from the brand The Balm at Winners. First thing I got was the How About Them Apples Lip Palette. This one was $12.99 and it comes with six different shades. The next palette I found at Winners was the In the Balm of Your Hand Greatest Hits Volume 2. This set was only $12.99. This one comes with four different eyeshadow shades, one highlighter, one bronzer, and three blushes. If you pick up this palette, do be careful because, can you guys hear that? It's like super loose inside and of course I didn't know that at first so when you open it just do not tilt this down otherwise the things inside might just pop out. The only blush I found from Winners was the Big Mama blush. This one was $8.99 and it's a nice peachy pink shade. I also got the Smoke Bomb Volume 3 eyeshadow trio palette. This one was $5.99 and it comes with three different eyeshadow shades. The last thing I picked up from Winners from the brand The Bomb were these eyeshadow sticks. I got the colors Slugger, Night Game, Dugout, and Shutout. Uh, for Dugout and Shutout, this actually came in a duo set, so I paid $12.99, sorry, $9.99 for this set. And for the other two, I had to purchase them separately for $6.99 each. 
Next, I'm going to show you the things that I got from Winners and Marshalls from the brand Kat Von D. For the Studded Kiss lipstick, I got the shade Cathedral. This one was $7.99. This is what the shade looks like. I got three of the Locket Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primers. I got two in the shade Light and one in the shade Fair. I've actually already used this product and I found it to be pretty effective at keeping my eyeshadow on for most of the day. I like how you can also use this sort of as a concealer to hide any veins you might have on your lids. And it also comes with a little sharpener at the end of the stick in case you want to keep the tip pointy. I also got the Locket Concealer in the shade Light. This one was $7.99. The last thing I picked up from Kat Von D was this Hello Canada Limited Edition set. This one was only $14.99. It does come with three mini sizes of some of the popular items Kat Von D has. For example, the Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Lolita an Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Double Dare, and the Tattoo Liner in Trooper. It also comes with a pretty good size vegan leather makeup pouch. The last thing I picked up from Kat Von D was the Shade and Light Double Ended Contour Brush. This one was $16.99. Comes with a case that looks like a coffin. You open it up and inside you have the brush. Next, I'm going to show you what I got from the brand Marc Jacobs. I picked up three nail polishes. These were $7.99 each. The other thing I picked up was the Perfection Powder Featherweight Foundation from Marc Jacobs. This one was $19.99 and the shade I picked up was Ivory Bisque. So this product comes in its own pouch. Comes with one of these sponge applicators. Packaging is very sleek and very high-end looking. I mean, it is high-end. If you were to pay full retail price for Marc Jacobs products at Sephora, these are not cheap. Inside, you have the product. Now, I'm going to show you some of the products I found at Winners from the brand Kevin O'Quan. I got three matte lip colors in the shades For Keeps, Forever, and Timeless. These guys were $14.99 each. Also for $14.99, I got one expert lip color in the shade Aria Bell. Packaging is just very, very beautiful. It's got this magnetic closure and it looks very high end. And I'll just show you the shade Aria Bell, which is a beautiful pink color. I picked up two brow gel pencils from Kevin O'Quan. These ones were $9.99 each and they retail $32 a piece. The shades I got were Sheer Dark Brunette and Sheer Brunette. Also for $9.99, I picked up one Precision Eye Definer Eyeliner Pencil from Kevin O'Quan. This one is in the shade Stealth. For $9.99, I got one eyeshadow single in the shade Coffee Bean, which as you can imagine is a brown color. I got the Creamy Glow Blush in the shade Prevella for $8.99. Looks like this. Next thing I got from Kevin O'Quan were two Pure Powder Glows for $19.99 each. The shades I picked up were Natura and Shador. These guys come in little pouches, which is a nice touch. This one is Natura. The only brush I picked up from Kevin O'Quan was the base brush, which is for eyeshadow, and I believe this one was $19.99. I got a few lip products from Clarence at Winners. I got three lip glosses. These were $7.99 each. The shades I picked up were Papaya, Candy, and Raspberry. 
if you are buying lip glosses and they did not come in protective cases, you may want to check if it was opened and used before because a lot of times I do see people actually swatching these products on their hands and who knows, maybe someone even tested it on their own lips. One tip for you to assess whether a lip gloss has been used or not is to open the product and ever so slightly pull the wand out very little. If there is some resistance, then it could mean that the wand itself was never fully pulled out. So it may be pretty safe to assume that the product was not used. Also, make sure you check the rim of the lip gloss because a lot of times if someone has pulled the wand out, they may have smeared some of the product on the lip of the gloss. So that's a pretty good indicator that someone may have used the product. The last thing I picked up from Clarence was this Perfect Shine Sheer Lipstick in the color Rhubarb. This one was also $7.99. Now I'm going to show you some products where I only picked up one or two items from their brand for. From Makeup Forever, the only thing I got was the HD powder. This is the loose powder and you get 4 grams of product for only $9.99. From Estee Lauder, I picked up one nail polish in the shade Love Bite for $12.99. From Stila, I got one color balm lipstick in the shade Evangeline. And it's like a dusty rose. And this lipstick was $14.99. I got two of the Glamgo Pout Mud Lip Balm Treatments for $9.99 each. And the colors I picked up were Starlet, and sugar plum. From Sigma, I picked up two brushes. One was the E55 eye shading, and this one was $12.99. And I also got the P86 Precision Tapered for $14.99. I did see various Sigma brush sets selling at Winners as well, including the premium brush set. I believe that one was $129.99, but they also had a bunch of other smaller sets selling for $49.99, $59.99. Um, I've actually never tried any of the Sigma brushes, so I only grabbed two to start. From the brand Japonesque, I picked up the Point Foundation brush. This one was only $5.99. Moving on to some of the hair care products that I found at Winners, I was super, super excited to see that they are carrying some products in the brand Alterna. If you actually go into Sephora, you will see these exact same products selling there for full retail price. So each of these products I got were for $12.99 only. Um, I got the Caviar CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction. Then I picked up two of the Caviar Anti-Aging Color Hold Vibrancy Serums. These ones are specifically for color treated hair. If you're like me with long hair and you also dye it often, your ends might start to feel very dry and brittle. So to give it some extra moisture and make it look healthy at least with some sort of shine, this is a pretty good product to try out. It smells very good and I think this is selling at Sephora for $42. For skincare products, I got the Pearl Essence Coconut Rose Hydrating Face Mist for $9.99. I use this after I wash my face when my skin feels the most dry. The next skincare item that I did splurge on was the Paracone MD Refirm Duo. So this comes with a full-size refirm moisturizer and a full-size refirm eye cream. This set also comes with a mini size cold plasma moisturizer. I haven't tried any of the products in this kit from Paracon MD before, but for $69.99, you do get to try something that's worth over $300. So I thought, yeah, why not give us a try? I mean, as I age, I'm trying to be more diligent with skincare. So I think this isn't a bad deal. And that's it for my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like this video, give it some love if you did. Let me know in the comment section below what you found at your local Winners and Marshall stores. And hopefully, in the very near future, we will see a lot more amazing brands show up at Winners as well. See you guys next time.